Caleb. I'm Caleb. He's Dave. That's right. Face down, ass up. Keep on tipping. Fuck Walter Mondale. That's right. Uh, we're talking movies. We're having fun. We're riffing. We, we give you a little moon new. What oh, do we, we do? Everything on this we podcast. Do everything. You finally find out what's happening on the moon. No That's one else right. will tell you. You find out what's happening with Ben Shapiro's face. That's right. And we talk about a movie we may or may not have seen. We definitely, every week though, we talk about a movie we definitely saw. Yes. And then we sometimes we talk about movies that are coming out. Sometimes we talk about a movie we yeah. just watch. You know, we, we do a little of everything. And we remind you that Walter Mondale is a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> no matter what anybody fucking says about is that guy. Is he alive? Who cares, dude? Yeah. Whether he's know. alive or dead, he's dead to me. You know? All right. You know gonna, what I mean? This is the moment of truth. Oh, he's dead for sure. Is man. he? Yeah, dude. Uh, Walter Mondale died. Yeah, dude. Drive by shooting. <laughs> he died in 2021. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he got shot in the head by Bob Dole. I mean, that would be... I mean, Bob Dole's dead, too, right? Is he? Everybody's dying these days. Man, Bob Dole seemed dead when he was running. Wow, Bob Dole and Mondo both died in 2021. Wow. wow. COVID? Vaccine. <laughs> Vaccine much? They were both, both born in the 20s, so it seems like it was about Holy time. Holy fuck, know? they were born in the 20s? Yeah, they both were in their 90s when they died. Isn't that something? Oh, man. Hmm. The history's cool, yeah, Dave. Wow. It's cool How to How crazy know. would it be if we found out that they both died bungee jumping? <laughs> 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 Their bodies just, like, ripped apart. they like, you know how I want to go? I want to bungee jump. In my night, On my 90th my birthday, 90s. I'm going to jump from a bridge. I think my bones can take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do. We should get mm-hmm. Trump and Biden... We tie a little rubber band around them. Yeah, man. And they both bungee jump. See who see who does it. And they go through the American Ninja Warrior uh, obstacle course. That's what they have to do, <laughs> dude. You know we should have them do power slap against each other. Oh, have you seen yeah, power dude. slap videos? Oh yeah, they they really hurt to watch. They really hurt to watch. Can't believe it's a sport. We're coming up with all these new sports that are just like horrifying i know i guess power slap is the only one i can really think of so we'll just Pretty bad yeah but i feel like there's other sports i'm not thinking of that like arrived in the last 10 years i don't consider that a sport like you know football gives you cte and whatever but it, there's there's it's fun but like just watching people smack each other hard in the face what are we doing i guess i don't mean sport in the sense of like it's definitely an official sport i would say it's definitely not these people are not athletes but maybe they are. They're I mean, they're something. pretty strong. I just mean it is a it is a professional um, funded league with uh, broadcast and viewers money behind mm. it and like actual people participating in it. And so, yeah, they are athletes. They have to be like fit in at least one way. They have to so have at least just practice getting slapped in the face. Yeah, I feel like these were all were guys who just like. We're, we're just jerked off for years, you know, and then had one huge arm. And uh, <laughs> um, that's, that's the shark tank pitch. Yeah, totally. Yeah, a guy walks out with one massive arm. and he's Sharks, like, millions of Americans have one big arm and one little one. I think we've all wanted to smack Mark Cuban in the face at <laughs> one point or another. Um, yeah, there's that. There's drone racing. Have you seen the drone oh, racing? Oh, boy, no, I haven't. Those are like, and you know, I mean, that's like a, a sport the way esports is, but there's like, I was watching a guy on a plane watch it. There are like races and they're crazy. You like fly your robot through really fast through these like series of rings and uh it's a race to the finish line, but you have to go through all the rings also and uh a lot of people watch it and like it wow. and it's just people sitting at a computer like basically flying an RC car. Um, Should we do that for the podcast? Should we uh, invent a sport, you know, drive some views? Yeah. Let's see. What's a sport? Okay, so drone racing. Getting hit in the face. Getting hit in the face. So they're just like things that people have always liked. What do you mean you just start jumping out of windows? Window jumping. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I dude. think we have a, pr- a decent sized mm-hmm. trampoline, and then you jump out of the first floor of a building, <laughs> the second floor, the third floor, and then you, it's like a uh, game it's of so chicken. So funny. Uh, representing the Atlanta, I can't take it anymore. It's, <laughs> it's uh... <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and man. you can bounce off the trampoline, but at a certain point, you gotta be like, all right, I'm out. I'm oh, out right, floor, right. Right. Yeah. Well, you get more points if you die. Right. Right. Because you're, you're jumping out a window. You gotta be careful. Yeah, but then you're dead, and you don't want you want your team to win. <laughs> you don't want to die before your team wins, but you do want to die. Is the you know if you're in the league? I was clearly. watching some of those Olympic qualifying th- rounds for for like track and field. Yeah. And I didn't realize they have a hammer throw. You ever seen the hammer throw? Yes. It's crazy looking. Oh my god! I mean, it's like I guess it's it is a sport, but they're just they spin around with like a metal ball on a sh- on a string, mm-hmm. and then uh, more than half the time they throw it into the net and uh, do yeah. not it does not go anywhere. Right? It's amazing. I it's we like watched it for hours. Hammer throw, shot put, and discus are all like just, crazy. They're like sports from a time where there was. Borderline zero stuff. (laughs) When they created the Olympics, they're like, what if we, okay, we throw a ball, we throw a hammer, and we throw a disc. Well, that's all the things. All right, we threw everything. Right now, if we were to start the Olympics now, it would be wild. If that's what we were going for, like, all right, coming up next in the toolbox dunk. Uh, (laughs) What about a person throw? So you have two teammates, right? Oh, the man heave. You got, you got That's a, our sport. The strong person and the little guy, and then uh, you just see how far you can throw yeah, the person. Dude. Yeah, like a bodybuilder shot puts a jockey. Yeah, is basically into what a it's pool. Like, into a pool, yeah. right. I think um, that's pretty good. I think that'd be fun, the, the man heave. Have you seen the steeplechase? The boy throw. Yeah, like I've a never horse saw race? the steeplechase before. Horse races are crazy, yeah. No, the steeplechase. Is the steeplechase not a horse oh, race? Oh, it's a people race, Dave. I'd never seen it until this year. I was watching what? some of it. Uh, so they, they're running, right? And then they jump over a giant. It's not a bunch of hurdles. It's one big hurdle. They all jump over it. And then they jump into some water. Like, not much water. But uh, it looks insane. I watched it. Oh, the steeplechase is also a horse race. What? Yeah, for sure. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got to you can't have a thing with two you, one name for one thing is what I say. <laughs> totally. Uh, interesting. It's an obstacle race in athletics which derives its name from the steeplechase and horse racing. 3000 meter steeplechase, 2000 meter steeplechase. Wow. And you run through water at one point? Yeah, there's a little water and you jump through that uh, and you run over a thing. Whoa. It's insane. It's insane, and uh, people get real hurt because they're all trying to jump over the same hurdle at the same time. You know what I've, what I've, been th- I've always thought, and this is like, I, this is not me fucking bringing up trans people in sports at all. Like, mm-hmm. this is like before that at all. I've always wondered, like, I, I understand why there's the delineation between men and women's sports in a lot of it, but I do think it's interesting with running. Mm-hmm. Do men run faster than women? I think so. Really? Yeah. Well, longer legs, stronger legs. No period. No period. <laughs> you train all month. Train all month yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You don't uh, get mad at running for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I think the be, the the average height being more and the muscle. Oh, like the muscle. More. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's so strange. Right. And then the guys, you know, they're always hitting on, you know, if the ladies are running with them, the guys would be like, so uh, after this race. Yeah. You want to run? Yeah. You want to run down to my bed? I bet bed? I can catch you. Yeah. <laughs> if I could catch you, maybe we fuck a little. <laughs> right. I guess they that's true. They did that for one Olympics and they're like, let's You know what? Up. We don't need these people <laughs> even near each other. It does seem unfair. Yeah. Um. That, I think uh, chess, you can definitely have men and women playing chess against each other. For um, sure. Men have stronger fingers. Uh, they can pick up the pieces faster. Drone racing. Women can drone race with the fellas. Drone race. NASCAR. Sure. Definitely can't do. I really, even if we were completely equal in every way, I wouldn't want combined men and women's power slap. Oh, uh, yeah. That would just make me feel bad. Yeah. I mean, it would just be domestic abuse on TV. Right. Which right. is what power slap is. It is just like, if you don't know what we're talking about, 
you probably don't if you're especially if you're listening and you're not a straight white guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I guess maybe straight black dudes <laughs> get this, but I don't know. It seems like some real straight white guy shit. It's like a, a like formal sport. I get these reels promoted into my Instagram feed all the mm-hmm. time where huge guys wearing like a shirt with logos on it in like an arena with a ton of people on it, standing on what looks like a boxing ring in front of like a little podium. There's another guy on it and they go back and forth smacking each other as hard as they can in the face. And a lot of the time they'll, one guy will smack the other and he'll just pass out. Yeah. It's like, cause he got hit in the head. Cause he got hit right in the fucking head by one of the strongest people <laughs> on earth. I just there's got to be better ways to things no, to do. No, it's like one of the most crow magnon things I've ever seen. It's you, so Neanderthal. Neither of man. us have kids, but I I'll tell you this. I know if I had a kid, mm-hmm. I would never like hold them on the day they're born and go, I you know, I hope they grow up and get smacked in the face professionally. You know what? Here's a sport that we can invent. It's uh it's we let a bat loose in your bedroom and you got to catch it. <laughs> Men and women both. The bat catch. Yeah. <laughs> and I, <laughs> you get a net. Yeah. You, you get like a net with your team logo on it, you know? Absolutely. Um, I mean, once we had boxing, I was like, well, that's just, we're just fighting. Isn't that so funny? And then they were like, what if we have just MMA? What if we just beat the hell out of them? Yeah. We MMA. Them? We put them in a cage. What if I can hit them when they are already on the ground? I, know. I mean, I know some people love MMA. Uh, it's just not. There are some sports. They're so like. They're so simple mm-hmm. that it's funny to call them a sport. Boxing is like that. Hitting. Two men hit. Yeah. Hitting. Running is also like running. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. Keep running. Don't stop running. Oh, uh, then the, all the distances and like. uh I don't know. Like I was watching a bunch of the hundred meter ones, and it's insane how. And I, you know what they said that mm-hmm. I thought was cool is they were like, the hundred meter dash is about who slows down the least, because oh, every one of them is fast for the first couple seconds, right? They can all go fast as hell for a little bit. Wow! But everybody starts slowing down at some point. And you just hope right. you slow down the least. Wow! Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. How about this, dude? 100 meter boxing. <laughs> oh, I'm just imagining them like yeah, just punching running and, running. and punching to the side. Cuz yeah, how would you win? Like you would have to the yeah, like ideally it would be like just like the 100 meter dash, whoever gets there wins and then you can like punch to knock the person out. But the problem is that then really it would just be like the 100 meter dash. Yeah. That like allowed a little bit of pushing, so you would need to include like you have to get like some licks in while you're doing the hundred meter <laughs> dash in order to qualify for you know what I mean? No, well you know what it needs to be is a mile, the boxing mile, the boxing mile. Yeah, uh, how about cause... horse punching? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, there's already bullfighting, <laughs> right? But this that's horse really punching fair. is different from bullfighting. In horse punching, the horse has to stand still and and you punch it in the face. It's like power slap, but one of the guys is a horse. (laughs) And then if the horse uh, doesn't get knocked down, you have to stand behind it and it gets to kick you. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Yeah. As long as the horse gets to kick. Yeah, I guess I don't like that. That's not fair. You shouldn't punch the horse. Look, there's no bad ideas. We're trying to invent a new sport. You're right. We're trying to invent a sport. You know, I'm judging you by your good ideas. How about the squirrel toss? (laughs) You hate that squirrel. I hate that squirrel. I hate cows, too. How about, I got, here's a sport. You try, you get 50, you get a bag of 50 squirrels, Mm -hmm. and you try to hit as many cows as you can with a squirrel. Whoever hits the most cows with a squirrel in a minute wins. (laughs) I'm just pict- now. I'm picturing all of these on Shark Tank. I love it so much, dude. I want fun, more fun sports. I'm done. Like already, our biggest sport kills everyone who plays it. Right. Like fuck it. We're already killing all the people that we revere. Let's let's spice it up, dude. Horse punching. I okay. Take me back punch. to serious. The boxing mile is very fun. <laughs> Hitting and running. Hitting and running. The hit and run. The hit and run. <laughs> oh my god. That's what it needs to be. There's a little boxing ring, right? And it's on a track. 
Yeah. So they box for a round and they run a mile. Yeah. Dude, it's like the biathlon, but okay, no, it's like the triathlon, which is like running, swimming, and Something. biking. I don't know. But this is what it should be. The triath it's a new triathlon or the quadrathlon. How about that? Mm-hmm. You run a mile and then you fight. <laughs> <laughs> And then you swim a mile, and then you fight. Right. And then you bike a mile, and then you shoot each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of, like, a decathlon that I would enjoy. Uh-huh. You know? Where it's like, all right, you, you drink a bottle of whiskey, mm-hmm. and then you run a mile. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fun. And then uh, you watch a really bad movie. Wow. And you, you got to stay awake. Yeah. You watch Time Cop, and you have to stay awake. <laughs> Then yeah right. Uh, then you uh, do you each do a big line of coke and then you do some fencing. <laughs> coke fencing. Coke fencing. Coke fencing sounds. Yeah. I feel like coke fencing would make fencing really really nuts, dude. Well, I think um, about things I do in my life that I'm actually proud of. Like I think I can pack a bag really quickly. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh yeah, that's a fun. I, I can sport. pack for a week long trick. I think quicker than anybody. Coke packing. Coke packing. I How think about I fencing, can... but with switchblades? <laughs> oh my god! Just everyone dies. Everyone involved dies. No, but 100% like percent death rate. Just like bring back like full suits of armor. You know. Yeah. So like maybe not fencing, but just like knights fighting with broadswords. <laughs> you know. Like, you know, come on. All right. Make That's it, a good idea. Make it like American Gladiators. What are things you feel like you can do What in your skill set? I could take a dump. <laughs> Not bad. And it's pretty good. That's one of the things. I could do it big and fast. I can... <laughs> yeah, dude, coke dumping. What, what video game do you think you're the best at? Oh man, I'm super good at Guitar Hero. Okay, that'll be one a guitar a round of Guitar Hero. You're talking about a decathlon. Yeah, so it's uh, ten okay. events. So okay, so in the the events in decathlon are drinking whiskey mm-hmm. and then running. <laughs> it should be like something that we're good at, and then a sport. I feel like yeah, it should go one to one, like one and one. So it's like you chug a bottle of whiskey and then you have to run five miles. <laughs> No, no, no. We got to do the run first. You know, if you okay, can't chug run whiskey, five run. miles and then chug a then whiskey. Then you drink whiskey. Then you have to uh, walk two miles in the snow. <laughs> and then you get to watch Time Cop <laughs> without falling asleep. And then knife fight. Knife then you fight. take a shit. Hold <laughs> 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 Now we're just talking about a day we we usually have. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't talked about this a lot, but Caleb and I knife fight before every time we record an episode <laughs> of the podcast. Yeah, people always ask how we prepare. That's, that's what we do. Yeah, we do a nice little switchblade off. Mm-hmm. Okay, so knife fight, take a shit. <laughs> then, uh, then like a, like a, like a speed skating. Okay. I like that. Then we play Tony Hawk. <laughs> How many sports is that so far? Decathlon is ten. I really lost count. And I and the very last thing you do would have to be some sort of culmination of all of them, you know? Um yeah, then you write and perform a song based on your experience. Yes. It has to be And you have an entire day to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I think we got something here. Yeah, dude. Dave and Caleb's decathlon. Yeah, yes, that's right. No, we need to do one that everyone listening could participate in. Oh, okay, like a real decathlon that we all, all sports. Yeah, the good what's at. it decathlon? Okay, and then and okay, and so all right, let's make it actually reasonable then and not over the top. Mm-hmm. So okay, and it's got to be ten sports. So let's count them. I'm gonna count first with my hand, my right hand, and then you'll eat count a whole with yours. pizza. So first. Eat a whole pizza. Wait, hold on. No, it needs to build. It needs to build. So first, wait, hold on. Um, the first sport is getting comfy. (laughs) (laughs) 
I could do that in like 30 seconds. The what's it cathlon. Yeah, the what's it cathlon. Whoever get comfy. You, first you get comfy and we and we have judges and we can tell if you're not actually comfy. If you're stressed, <laughs> if there's any stress in your body, you have to stand back up and reset and then you have to get comfy again. So, get comfy. Get comfy, all right? Uh enjoy a beer. Enjoy a beer. And if you However drink it too fast, takes, yeah, it's too quick. You're not enjoying it. <laughs> so, you get, get comfy, comfy, you enjoy a beer, right? Uh-huh. And then, um, could be a non-alcoholic beer if, if you. But if, if it's please. exactly, it's whatever you would enjoy. Mm-hmm. Get comfy and enjoy a beer. Then, um, let's see. Yeah, what's a good like third? What's a good follow up to that? Listen to Life Is a Highway. Listen to like <laughs> yeah, but that's but that's the same length for everybody. Uh, is the that's thing. A good point. So like ooh um. Read the oh, Declaration of Independence. There you, great. That's perfect. <laughs> Read the Declaration of Independence. And once again, we'll know if you're retaining it. <laughs> it's also on the honor system. You, you know, no, you know what? You. It needs to be easier to judge. <laughs> Read the Declaration of Independence out loud. Is there something better than the Declaration of Independence, I'm trying to though? think of something that's like decently short. Yeah, totally. Uh, foot footprints. What if you read the, the poem footprints? footprints? Poem. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not the one. Uh. Um. Okay. What if they read? Uh, uh, I don't know. I think the Declaration of Independence is good. You're right. Okay, read the Declaration of Independence out loud. <laughs> then it starts getting difficult. You have to eat four slices of pizza. Four slices of pizza, that's right. And that's like a speed thing. We don't care if you're enjoying it or if you're comfy. Your comfy level doesn't matter at all anymore. (laughs) Comfort goes out the window at step four. Okay, so we've got get comfy, enjoy a beer, beer. read the Declaration of Independence out loud, Yeah. eat four slices of pizza. That's four. Four slices of pizza. Okay. Uh, Then five... Beat the first level of Mario 3. Okay. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) This is... You can find that online. You can find that online. Yeah, If you don't have a Nintendo or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely on Nintendo online if you have a Switch. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, yeah, okay. Let's say... What's a good... What's something that everybody has? Mm. I think we should just say beat Mario 3. It's a pretty common game. Beat level 1... Of any Mario game that has levels. Yeah. So it could be Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, Super Mario World, uh, Mario Galaxy, any Love of it. those. And you can find if you Beat can... Beat one level of Mario. Yeah, one Mario level, totally. Yeah. That's five, right? I like that. Um, so now we're halfway through the What's It Cathlon. <laughs> um, six. <laughs> um, Run around your building. But everybody has, everybody has a different size building. Well, then also then not everybody can be, run. That's true. And we want everybody to uh, be able to participate in this. You know. Well, not everyone's alive. Well, that's true. But everyone who is alive, I think, should. <laughs> You're right. Run around your building could be, a, but but we're trying to do things that we're all good at. You and right, I are not right. good at running no, around I'm our not. building. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, and so the number. How about number six? Change your clothes. You remember ninth grade. <laughs> Think about ninth grade. You have to switch outfits. You have to think a uh, think of a a a happy memory of ninth grade and like really remember what that felt like actually. Mm, okay. Right. Number seven. Change your outfit. Change your outfit to something more suitable for the second half of the decathlon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, number three. Um, Kiss a picture of Lindsey Graham. Number okay. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> and some people, that's going to be really difficult. Yeah. But be like, you, you have Google. Argh. Right. Totally. Um, number eight is kiss a picture of Lindsey Graham. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. Eat some more pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are these like not hard enough? Are they like. Uh, I think these are good. I think these are pretty good. Because I think once we got to beat a level of Mario, like all of those were good. Mm hmm. And then maybe like maybe it should be number six, 
kiss a picture of Lindsey Grant. Maybe my remember ninth grade shit needed to go. Um, mm, yeah. What about a Rubik's Cube? Um, I've never been able to no, do that. No, I can't do that. Ooh, use a Q-tip on your ear. There you go. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. Number one. Yes. Round one, get comfy. Get comfy. Round two. Enjoy a beer. Enjoy a beer. Uh, round three, read the Declaration of Independence <laughs> out loud. <laughs> round four, eat four slices of pizza. Uh-huh. Round five, beat one level of Mario. So I just think it needs to step up now. I think round six should be take two shots of whiskey. Okay. Yeah. And then take, yeah, take two shots of whiskey. Seven, clean your fucking ears. Clean, They're disgusting. Yeah. Use Q-tips. Yeah. Number three, take the trash out. Take out the trash, yes. And number eight, take the trash out. <laughs> uh, number four, now run around your building. <laughs> You're already out there. <laughs> and then uh, round five, sleep for 12 hours. Sleep for 12 hours. Round yeah. 10. No, get a good sleep. Get a good night's sleep. However long that takes you. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Uh, how that's many 10. Do? That's 10? There we go. And then as soon as you wake up from your good night's sleep, that's when you stop the clock. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Right. All right. Get ready. We're going to pick a day. And yeah, so that's the thing. It's the only competition where... Uh, you win if it takes you the most time. Oh, okay. Which day should we do the, our decathlon? The what's a decathlon? On what's a day, probably. Which day is that? Oh, man, I have it written down. What um, what's a day? What's a day is August 5th every year. Oh, it's year. coming up. Yeah, dude. Oh, I can't wait. All right. So, okay, let's We're go over it one more time. <laughs> Because I don't know if I am, I think, uh, I realize that we're really figure, like uh, exploring this, but I think maybe it could, uh, we could m like tweak it a little bit still. Because my favorite parts of it are getting comfy and enjoying a beer. <laughs> right. Get comfy, enjoy a beer, read the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and again, you get the most points if you do it slowly. Okay, yeah. But is there a limit to that? I think it's like it's just whatever your time is. You can share your time with uh, with everybody. Oh yeah, sure, that's true. Is it fast or slow? Right. There's no winner in the what's right. it Cathlon. Yeah. Everybody wins. Everyone wins. Okay. So you get comfy. You enjoy a beer. You say read the Declaration of Independence out loud. Mm -hmm. You eat four slices of pizza. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the Mario thing. Yeah, because everybody has Mario, I guess. It's um, also just kind of like not our style. It's like yeah. we should do a bunch of what's it called stuff. Um, right, right. Uh, what do you watch an episode of Home Improvement? Yeah, watch an episode of Home Improvement. You could do that. Except, I don't know. I do think that it should be a race. I think we should make it a race. Okay, we're still working it but out. It's a, but it's an honor system race. Mm-hmm. So, like, you have to know how long it took you to be comfy and not lie, you know? Right. Get comfy, enjoy a beer, read the Declaration <laughs> of Independence out loud, eat four slices of pizza. Cleaning um, the ears. Okay, then five is clean your ears. That's what we'll do. Five yeah. is clean your ears. Six, two shots of whiskey. Uh-huh. Um, three. Three? Uh, I keep... Seven. Are you counting forwards? I I keep fucking up because I'm using a hand, two hands, and I, yeah. So, wait, five was shit. <laughs> One. This is a comfy. great episode. Get comfy. Get comfy. Enjoy, enjoy a, beer. a beer. Declaration of Independence. Four slices of pizza. Five is clean your ears. Clean your ears, yes. Six is, um, okay, how about this? Six is find the moon. Uh... <laughs> And then six is cheers the moon, two shots of whiskey, and drink them. Because we were already doing that. Find the moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. And then uh, eight, eat the other half of the pizza. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's going to take a minute. Yeah, dude. Nine, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. How about this? No, how about nine? Drink a ton of water. Right. Drink. You got to get your water. Yeah. Drink a bunch of water. 
mm-hmm. and then 10, go to bed. There you go. I love it. Get and ready. If, and if you don't drink alcohol, instead of whiskey, you can drink... Milk. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There hell yeah, go. dude. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. Get ready, everybody. What's the day's coming up? What's the day's coming up? Hell August yeah. 5th, we're all going to celebrate. Uh, Caleb and I are going to do it together. That's right. And uh, yeah, get ready. We're going to go through it one more time just so we remember it. Uh, get comfy. Get comfy. Enjoy, enjoy a, beer. a beer. Declaration of Declaration Independence. Of independence. <laughs> Four love. slices of pizza. Four slices of pizza. Uh, clean your ears. Is clean your ears five? Yes. Oh, yeah. Six, find the moon. Find the moon. Seven. Cheers the moon. Cheers the moon and drink whiskey or milk. <laughs> or milk. Eight is eat the rest of the pizza. Eat the rest of the pizza. Drink a bunch of water. Go to bed. Go to bed. That's great. That's a good day. I really like that a That's lot. That's a good what's a day. Yeah. I can't wait, dude. Um. By the way, you can read any country's Declaration of Independence. Yeah, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Have fun with it. <laughs> you know, it's like a burger. Make some substitutions if you want. But uh, oh man, we're all having a good time. I like this show. It's a fun show. I like dude. doing this show a great deal. This week we're talking about a quiet place. Ooh. We're talking about a quiet place. Um. But uh, because the new one came out and uh, mm-hmm. we're just talking about any quiet place, but I just saw the new one mm-hmm. and I really liked it. Allie fucking didn't like it, but I, uh, I what's her problem? Yeah, I don't know. She thought it was bad because it sucked. And I don't know, <laughs> which I think is a bad Women, reason to not huh? like. Yeah, exactly. They always want stuff to be good. Ridiculous. Give me a break. Um, before that, though, a few things. One, do you have tour dates? Oh, I sure do. Uh, so yeah, come see me. I'm gonna be at the Laughing Skull Lounge uh, on July 24th. Uh, come on out there. It's a place I did stand up for the first time. I'm going back, uh, headlining on a Wednesday there. It'll be fun. But get those tickets. We need to sell it out. Uh, I'm gonna be at Laughs in Tucson, uh, August 2nd and 3rd. I'm going to be at Go Bananas in Cincinnati, uh, September 5th through the 8th. And I'm going to be at the Denver Comedy Lounge October uh, 4th and 5th. I'm going to be at the Comedy Nest in Montreal October 24th through the 26th. The Denver Comedy Lounge. uh, No, Denver Comedy Underground. Uh, That's going to be November 8th and 9th. And uh, yeah, the riot in Houston, uh, December 20th and 21st. So come on out to all those. They're going to be super fun. And I love you. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I have some dates, uh, not so many. I will be in Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Luis Obispo, California, Portland, Oregon, and Mill Valley, California. Um, At the end of August and beginning of uh, September, look for links, tickets to all that on my website, davetotheross.com. I'll be at Go Bananas in Cincinnati, October 17th through the 19th, Gainesville, Florida, for the fest, uh, the 25th through the 27th, and also I'm doing the fest comedy tour leading up to that. Uh, tickets still, I'm still waiting to get those up, but if you're if you're in Florida and you can't make it to Gainesville and you want to see me in one of the other towns in Florida, myself and Ali O'Neill and Kate Willett and perhaps some other comedians Hell will yeah. be doing that. And also, if you are in uh, New York City, come see my show, This Sucks, Monday Night's at the gutter in Williamsburg. It's not every Monday, so follow me at Dave to the Ross or follow at this.show.sucks for info on that. And the next one is July 24th. Hell yeah. Uh, follow us at What's It Pod. Go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash what's it called. Um, shop.whatsitcalled.rodeo to buy shirts from us. That's right. And what's it called.rodeo is our website to like link a link to our YouTube and to all our social media and our Discord and all that shit. And we got a gift, didn't we? We did. Oh, man. Dude, so I, by the way, I am so sorry it took me so long to talk about this. We're banking a bunch of episodes like this. Th- we recorded this the week after my special taping. Um, and uh, and so for us, just like a week has passed. But for you, it's like three weeks. And I'm so sorry I didn't say it. So, you know, my touring leading up to the, um, the special, uh, everywhere I went, I met some listeners to What's mm-hmm. It Called. And some places had more than others. Like in Birmingham, there were a bunch of listeners to what's it called? There, I forgot, man. I hadn't been touring in a while. And uh, in Birmingham, I just always, 
I always got that town, and that town always got me. I always did so well there, and I like had a bunch of fans come out just from not only just the podcast, just from my stand up in the past. It mm-hmm. was great. And then another town like that is Milton, Pennsylvania, dude. Oh, like Milton. years ago, I had I was the co host of the Sex Nerd Sandra podcast, and that was a pretty big podcast. And uh, there was this dude. Uh, who, by the way, forgive me, I think I just misgendered a person who since has come out as non-binary or perhaps trans. I'm not entirely sure, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry I don't know, but I think they, uh, their name is Jeff Kunkel, and uh, man, they're great, and I saw them in Milton, and the way that this all happened was they listened to Sex Nerd Sandra, and then I met them at a... Uh, at a live recording of the show in Brooklyn. And they were like, Hey, if you're ever touring through, you know, we started an open mic in the middle of Pennsylvania where there's nothing really around, but we have like a little community of people that love comedy and love podcasting and love your show. And you know, we'd uh, be cool to have you come through to the open mic. And I was like, Oh wow, great. And then for my first ever, um, tour, I hit them up and I was like, would you ever want to do a ticketed show? And they were like, well, we've never done that, but we'll try it. And then in the, so they put together a show in the basement of the Eagles Lodge in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. And uh, a bunch of people came out. And to the, like I, I am in touch with a bunch of these people. One of them is a super funny comic named Chris William, who's still based out there. And he put together my show in Milton. I've also done shows in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And, uh, and yeah, they're just really funny, sweet people who listen to all my podcasts and come out and are so kind and I like because of the pandemic I'd been separate from everyone for so long so I went out and even before the show after the show too but even before the show I was meeting people that were telling me oh we saw you at the Eagles Lodge in Sunbury 10 years ago or whatever Damn. oh man it was so cool it was so nice to see that community of people again they're all just like such sweet people I man I go back to uh Central PA to do stand-up as much as I can and one of the people that introduced themselves was this woman, Alyssa, who handed me a bag that said this was a gift for me and Caleb. On the bag is written, Happy What's It Day Hell from yeah. Alyssa. And um, and it's a bottle of bullet bourbon. Hell yeah, it is. And then she bought a shirt from me. And I was like, what listen, lady. you just gave me a bottle of bourbon. You can just take a shirt. And she was like, nope, I'm here to support. She was with her husband, Austin, who was also so cool. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah, I talked to them for a while. Uh, it was great. Alyssa, thank you so much. We are definitely going to be drinking this bourbon when we do our two shots of whiskey to the moon That's during the right. decathlon on What's It Day Absolutely. in a few weeks. Uh, so get ready for the chillest decathlon of all oh, fucking time, wait. dude. Can't wait. Uh, do we have more? I don't think that we have more patrons this week do we i don't we? think so i don't think so either uh, but yeah we're talking about i haven't uh, checked in a second place yeah we're talking about a quiet place That's but who right. have you what have you been listening to or watching this oh, week? oh i've been watching some shit dave but i i watched uh lately i've been watching just it's all bad stuff <laughs> um which you know what are you gonna do a lot of it's bad but uh i did watch something good uh that i i'm pretty pumped about Okay. Have you ever seen the movie Hustlers? I don't think I have. 2019 joint. Uh, it's J Lo, and she's like, uh, they they come up with a scheme. She's like a stripper, and uh, she recruits. She's like teaching this young stripper the ropes, you know. And it's J Lo who's like, she's the experienced stripper, and uh, they start doing this thing where they start figuring out which guys have money, and mm. they're like, so what they do is they drug them to extract the largest amount of money from them that they can. So these guys wake up the next day and they're like, I spent 10 grand last night? And it's like, yeah. Because uh, they, they, they meet them in a bar and they kind of hit on them. Then they're like, let's go to a strip club. They just act like they're regular ladies. And they take them to their strip club, drug them. And then they're like making it rain. They spend tons of money. Whoa. And it's a true story. It's a real thing that happened. Oh, really? Uh, so there's a big investigation, and it's sort of like a Goodfellas style, like the, the people that are closing in on the, the drugging strippers, and then the strippers kind of building their empire. It's fascinating. Wow. And it's so entertaining. It's one of the most entertaining movies I think I've ever seen. Huh. Uh, loved it. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but Lizzo and Cardi B are in it, stripping it up. It's Whoa. crazy. It's a crazy movie. I loved it. I thought it was great. J Lo's awesome. Huh. Uh, it's one of those movies that's just like super fast paced and good fellasy and just uh, man, I couldn't recommend it enough. It's a good time. Wow, I'm gonna watch that for sure. That sounds yeah. great. 
Best thing I watched in a while, for sure. Dude, uh, you know what I watched recently that What'd I really, watch? really liked? The Halo TV show. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, I've heard that's good. It's good, dude. I've heard Fallout and Halo is good. Fallout shows. is, like, amazing. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen either of these. And I don't know why I was more ready to think Fallout would be good and not as ready to think Halo would be good. I think because Halo is, like, an older property and it's on Paramount Plus. I just kind of feel like it has like more going against it. But maybe not, dude. Paramount Plus is turning out to be one of the Damn. ones maybe I'll pay for. Okay. No, Halo is just like a really great story and a really high budget, high uh production value sci-fi about like a really well-built world and the effects are all incredible and what's his name? Who's uh Lev Schreiber's brother? Uh, Didn't know he had a brother um, Or cousin maybe What's his name I mean everybody's It's the guy from The Wire uh, Who plays uh, Nikki Sabatka In The Wire Oh boy I haven't seen that either um, I've heard that's good The Wire Yeah, yeah Everybody dude. says it's good I'm gonna check it out Oh yeah You gotta watch You should watch The Wire so man So many of these shows The Wire Sopranos I, I haven't Pablo seen Pablo Schreiber I didn't know this Maybe he's not related to Liv Schreiber Hmm I mean, if your name's Schreiber. And you're an actor. Yeah, it seems likely. I'm pretty sure. Wait, hold on here. Well, dude, I thought that uh, the lady that played Lois Lane. Half-brother. Half-brother uh, of Liv Schreiber. Close enough. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, that's great. I got to check yeah, that out. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, hold on. We got <laughs> we got some important. Oh, we do have some important yeah. stuff. Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> News about the moon. If you're as tired as we are of Earth-based news, you're going <laughs> to love this segment. That's uh, right. We've been, Dave and I noticed this kind of organically. We're like, do we talk about the moon every single week? We talk about the moon every week. Uh, but we love the moon. We think the moon is good. and uh, But they don't. it doesn't get clicks for whatever reason. People want to click on AOC. <laughs> boy, his boy, Her boyfriend looks like shit. People click on that. <laughs> People click on, oh, Joe Biden, he fell. Uh, but here's here's a story you're not going to hear anywhere else. That's why you got to come here. Time ticks faster on the moon by 50 second mi 57 microseconds. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Which It is just such useless knowledge, right? Like, is there an explanation in that article of why it matters to them, time on the moon? Uh, you know what? I bet it is something sinister. Yeah. Time's different on the moon? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Like, we've... I don't know. Again, like, this is one of those things where we are not scientists, and I... When we're talking about scientists and we don't understand it, I always feel a little bit like a jag-off. But, mm -hmm. like, this specifically feels like I don't understand why it would matter ever, except that I suppose no specific part of Earth has control of any specific part of the moon but you would just think that earth time would be the only time that would matter on the moon i think earth time is all that matters uh so <laughs> yeah and part of it is when they say that here's the thing about the headline time ticks faster on the moon by 50 seconds 57 microseconds per earth day right so uh, when they say ticks it makes me think that it is an it is a you know analog watch uh -huh. with a second hand Right. Which I would go, well, that if gravity on Earth is stronger than on the moon, which it is, then maybe it's pulling the hand down. It's weighing it down, right? So maybe it's faster mm -hmm. on the moon because there's less gravity. So what I want them to do is put an iPhone on the moon, plug it in, <laughs> and then see if it's still faster. I would imagine that the reason isn't because of some physical, the way that a, to uh, a clock works. Well, then what would it be? I think it probably has something to do with uh, how the moon revolves around the earth yeah well, uh and who knows what it is i'm sure someone it does it could be they got a bad watch they sent a bad watch i just to the personally moon. no there's no oh my god no <laughs> i'm we, we dude caleb i'm telling you you are in dangerous territory you are going to be a flat earther by the end of the year i don't i think the earth's round but i think right. there's what i don't know what happened but for some reason, time is different on the moon. So it has to be gravity. It's Or they did a bad experiment. I do think time is different on the moon. I just don't understand why it matters. Like, do you... I agree. My question is, do you... 
age slower on the moon in comparison to Earth. Is that what that means? Does time move slower in the sense that time passes less fast for us? Because if that's true, then we need to tell time on the moon for sure. <laughs> if the moon is like a whole other universe, then we need to, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if yeah. I'm st- if I am on the moon for 10 years and when I get back to earth, I'm only 8 years older, only 8 years has passed or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever the reverse. Then yeah, yeah, I really want to know what the time is on the moon. No, that's a because good point. it seems like we should all go to the fucking moon first of all. Right. Yeah. Let's get a colony up there. It let's looks get like a we're going that there. way. You know. Absolutely, dude. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I just don't. Unless there are people that are living on the moon to such an extent that they never go to Earth, mm-hmm. we're just gonna keep it to Earth time. And I think it should be the time on the moon should always be the time. In Tulsa. That's what I... <laughs> it's a place no one cares about or is affected by. Oh, yeah. Tulsa time. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. No, I like that. What, what, what? It doesn't even... Just make up time. If you're on the moon, you made it. All right? It's whatever time you say it is up there. I think I really would like life to start getting more fun. Like, mm-hmm. I, we have this... I think one of the worst things about Republicans Mm -hmm. is that they're not willing to spend money on anything at all except, like, their daughter or whatever. (laughs) And it's so annoying, dude. Like, Democrats uh, say don't spend money on the homeless, but they say they want to. Right. But there used to be, collectively, because we wanted to beat Russia, we did all sorts of fun stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. We made nuclear weapons and we went into space. Yeah. Let's... We're fucked Everything's fucked. We're all going to die soon. We're going to burn to death or run out of water or we're going to get killed by China or something crazy. You know, right. We're just going to get, a, you know, the New York is going to get attacked by Alabama or like something fucking crazy is going to happen. So let's spend like 50 billion dollars and put like 2000 monkeys on the moon. <laughs> Man, what, what I thought you were setting up and what you were setting up. You talked about Russia, and you talked <laughs> about Democrats and Republicans. Let's make it fun, and dude. 2,000 monkeys on the moon. 2,000 monkeys, and they all get a suit, <laughs> and we try to make it so they could live, and then we observe, and we see what happens. How does time pass? We make, you know? 2,000 monkeys on the moon. What if, yeah, dude, what'll happen if we put 2,000 monkeys on the moon? No, I like that. I like that. I guess we would also have to put other animals on, or, or at least plants, what they eat. I guess we'd have to build a dome. Yeah. Damn. Well, maybe we put two. Maybe we put four hundred monkeys on the International Space Station. <laughs> See, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. And we get all the people out of there, and we just fucking let them go, dude. We dude. put enough food for four hundred monkeys to live for a year. Did you know they're gonna blow up the International Space <laughs> Are Station? They really, yeah. dude. They're wow. like, well, oh, it's uh, we're gonna get a new one, and we'll just blow the old one up. What? That's what they said. I don't know if they're gonna follow through with it, but they're give like, it to me. I know. I'll <laughs> take don't it. Blow it up. <laughs> My God, I would love to have the International Space Station. <laughs> I've never had any space stations in my life, dude. Can you fucking imagine, dude? Your friend like is gonna get a new car and he just like blows up his fucking Mini Cooper. God damn. I just the <laughs> idea that you're just in this international space. They just whizzing around. Yeah, Dave's up there now. It's my car, hey, dude. Everybody. I figured I gotta use it if uh, yeah, if they give it to me. So. Yeah. I mean this, NASA. I would love to have the International Space Station. <laughs> I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it in my apartment. Uh, it's huge, Dave. It's so big. Yeah. Well, I would move to somewhere where I could fit it. Like, it, <laughs> I would move to Oklahoma City or something so I could fit the International Space Station in my house. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start tweeting at NASA every day. <laughs> what the Give fuck, us the space dude? station. It's so tight that they're blowing it up, though. Speaking of fun shit. Yeah. That's awesome. No, I know. They should do something cool. really cool before they blow it up, man. Fill it with marinara. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of marinara floating in space. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stay good for so long. There's no bacteria up there. Oh, man. I wonder what happens when you put a bunch of marinara in space. Because our blood boils. We don't know. We don't we know. Don't know. We don't know. 
Well, one Does way it boil? Out. There's only one way to find out. Has anyone ever taken marinara into space? I wonder. Surely by now. They've took all kind of stuff up there. <laughs> oh, my God. I just like, I'm just really, this is awesome to picture. There's just like one scientist in the room who's like deciding the NASA missions. And they're like, okay, well, we need to just, we need to figure out how uh, different species react to being in low gravity and to being in, in an area with less air. And uh, someone's like, excuse me. <laughs> 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 we need to study the effects of a pizza in a space. <laughs> I think that's one of the most racist. <laughs> But but undeniably <laughs> funny. <laughs> There's an Italian guy at the meeting, and he only wants he's only interested in the effects of space on pizza. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, he's got like a he's got like a chef shirt on, but it says NASA on it. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, man. dude! That's that kills me. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. Pizza NASA. Oh boy. Oh, so we got a. I mean, we got a bunch of shit. We to got do. a lot of we stuff to lot, do. We, we got a lot to get to. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, we got a lot on the list. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, the Jeffrey Wright Report. The Jeffrey Wright Report. The Jeffrey Wright Report. The Jeffrey Wright Report. He is not in, a quiet, not in a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh, boy. But he's in a lot of movies. He's in a lot of movies. He is in a lot of movies. We swear to God, he's in a place. lot of fucking movies. Um, but yeah, oh. Quiet Places, that's a, some good shit. I like those. Yeah. I like all the Quiet Places. <laughs> Should this movie, the movie, should this movie have been directed by the Cohen brothers? Cohen brothers. Should this movie have been directed by the Safty brothers? Should this movie have been direct, directed, or directed by the Wayans brothers? <laughs> Ooh, the Quiet Wayans Brothers movie would oh, be pretty fun. Yeah, know? that would be impossible. I'll tell you who I think would have done a great job with this. And it's who I'm going to say for most horror movies. Lee Whannell. Who's Lee Whannell? D- he directed The Invisible Man that we watched. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. I think that dude's the shit. Uh, I thought Jim did a good job with A Quiet Place, but uh, why not? Oh, did he direct that? I'm pretty sure it was Jim. Oh, no Isn't shit, it? dude. Didn't Jim make A Quiet Place? Or am I crazy? Um, let's see. I'm like 99% sure. Uh, that, uh, what's place. his name? What's Jim's real name? I always his forget his real name. Jack Ryan. That's Jack Ryan. Name. Okay. <laughs> uh, John Krasinski. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, Jim really fits him better. Directed by John Krasinski. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. He's like, he is a really well-rounded artist. That yeah. dude. Isn't I'm that crazy. I'm, yeah. He's a great fucking action star. I think he's great in Jack Ryan. Yeah, he's and, good. Uh, and I would have never thought. That movie about Benghazi, I love him in that it's movie. It's so funny that Jim is a badass now, and uh, Chris Pratt is a I badass know. now. It's like, who else? Fucking Niles? Crane? Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Kramer? Bad Boys 5. <laughs> starring, <laughs> starring Ricky Gervais and Steven Root. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just two guys going Mer. Um, Yeah, what if A Quiet Place was directed by Ricky Gervais Oh boy A weird place <laughs> Yeah, you gotta act normal or the aliens fucking kill you And yeah. no one can do it No, Ricky Gervais should be in everything Ricky Gervais, yeah, you're right He His presence in things doesn't make me want to die at all I love all the quiet places But they keep, they, they're prequels, all of them, aren't they? They're, they're, they keep going back, don't they? No, 
A Quiet Place two. I watched two, but two starts with a prequel. It, the beginning of two is before, right? To like set up yeah. what's going on. But in A Quiet Place one, okay, I'm not going to give a spoiler. But a character goes away in the first one, mm -hmm. and that character is still gone in the second one. Yeah. Uh, a Quiet Place Day One, I just saw it, and it was a prequel. Right, so that's that's when the aliens show up, right? Yeah, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And Allie didn't hate it. I we, But I think I had more of a, like, I don't care about this, and Ooh. she's more of a horror movie person. And, right, right. And the first two are just so fucking good. Yeah. They're such well-made, well, like, beautifully uh, put-together horror movies. And this one was just kind of, like, the things that drove the characters forward was just kind of stupid. Yeah. It was like, man, do you want me to spoil it for you? No, I want to see it. Okay, I you should see it. it. Uh, this is funny. We're doing a, a a movie podcast, and one of us hasn't seen it, and we're not doing spoilers. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't do it, but it's just very funny. Well, like, it makes so the it... aliens, uh, they 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 can't see. One is of... that the spoiler? No, the spo <laughs> one of the characters. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got to be quiet. Oh shit. They figure out you got to be quiet real quick in this movie, and the one like the main character is like terminally ill, mm. and so her motivation in it is very very funny. It's like very when you, when you watch it, you're like, uh, okay, oh boy, fine, fine. I guess that's something you would do. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell yeah, I love the quiet places. I'm I really say. like them a lot. Yeah. yeah, should we rename them? Oh, I got a name. I got a name for it. Yeah, I got one, too. You want to hear my first yeah, name? Yeah, what you got? Everybody shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I have Scent of a Woman. Oh, my God. Pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't believe I can't play Zelda anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of a Woman. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I got one. Okay, look, everybody. I'm going to juggle, <laughs> and it's going to be fine. I'm good. <laughs> I got blind aliens present. Keep it down. <laughs> I got a uh, Steph Tolev died immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I got not the tip, not the best time to knock up your wife, Jim. Uh, you know what would be good if Batman was here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Uh, I got if Dwight was on this farm, he'd figure this shit out in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I got a uh, Jim's son gets eaten by an alien. And he looks in the camera like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what does Pam think about this Holocaust? <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that just America cannot accept he isn't married to Pam. Dude, I know. Like, no, every one time they see them in public, they're just like, that's not Pam. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know that it's a fictional show. Yeah, dude. His name's not Jim. Uh, but yeah, we got some good. So the prompt on Twitter and Discord uh, for this episode. Uh, so by the way, join Twitter and Discord and get in there and get the names, you know, uh, <laughs> get in there and have a good time. We have a good time there. Uh, so go to what's it called dot rodeo and join the discord and Twitter and everything. Uh, this week it was if a quiet place was directed by Wes Anderson. That's right. Coming in at number 10, the one true dog on discord said Hushmore. Really good. That's good shit, dude. Yeah. Uh, Space Bimbo on discord said the life of quiet. It's so good. These are <laughs> all great. Uh, at autism 316, which by the way is a great username. Pretty good. At autism 316 on Twitter. Uh, a white place. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, Crete on Discord said, Bottled Racket. That's great. At Larry Bellello on Twitter, Shut Up Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, dude. Uh, Kick Acetron on Discord said, The Fantastic Shh. <laughs> Kota Otan on Discord with Loud Fingers. Love it. Yeah. Uh, Shipbird Deluxe on Discord said, The Astonishing Happening That Nobody Heard. <laughs> oh, that's great. At Boogeyman on Twitter, Stick it in your ear, six. Four-hour big cock ear-fucking bonanza. Sorry, I thought you said Flesh Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, Ricky shit this week, uh, Fondle Punch on Twitter said, uh, finally some peace and quiet, the life and death of Mr. Richard Blabbington. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's really great. Oh, just Y'all, thank you so much for we being the you. absolute best. We love you. Keep on laying down. Yeah. Uh, patreon.com slash what's it called if you want more of us uh, and we will see you next week but but but
The Ben Shapiro's Beard Update. Ooh, it's still there. The Ben Shapiro's Beard Update. One day, something is going to change with this update. We'll see. We will see. We love you so much. See you next time. Bye. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called?